Well, welcome BCO employees and customers. I'm Katie from Charlotte Yoga. Grateful to be here with you for 40 minutes of vinyasa. I offer some strength options throughout class, and you can take those or leave those depending on how you're feeling today. Let's get started in the child's pose. So go ahead and separate your knees about mat distance and begin to crawl your hands out. And you might reach one hand on top of the other for a moment, pressing a hip back and switch. You might settle right into stillness and into deeper breathing. So big inhales, expand the belly and the backside body. And when you exhale, pause at the bottom just for a little moment before you start to inhale softly again. And as we move through this practice, I want you to notice where and how you can clear out congestion. However that shows up for you tonight. Maybe clearer breathing, potentially clearing out some congestion in the body. Or maybe there's just some junk in the mind that needs to go. So with the intention of clearing out, let's take a big inhale, fill up all the way. Exhale, release. Start to reach your arms out forward, slowly press to all fours. Flex your right ankle, lift your right knee up off of the mat, and just roll that knee around a couple of times both ways, restoring active blood flow to the places you were compressing. And then just switch sides. And when you do these little hip circles, keep your palms pressing evenly into the mat. Again, ankle stays flat. We'll come back to all fours, and as you exhale, ground and press down into your mat. Follow the full exhale. And as you inhale, arch and roll your shoulders back, lift your chin and lift your tailbone, let the belly drop. Trying to link breath with the movement here. This will be a concentration practice that can start to Clear some of that junk in the mind if potentially there's any lingering from your day. Keep trying to link breath with movement and just start to move around any way that feels good for about 20 seconds. You can stretch your wrists and flip your fingers toward the body. That might be nice if you've been typing a lot. You could tuck your toes, reach back, pull those toes from underneath you, crush them. That would be nice if you've been walking or on your feet a lot. We're on a slow journey to plank position. And if you want a less challenging practice, spend more time stretching around and exploring where there might be places where we want to clear out and make more space in the body. But when you're ready, we'll start to move towards that solid plank. And I want you to think about this philosophy of distributing effort around so that one space doesn't get burned out. And this might look like pressing into your fingers, pushing them down into the mat, feeling some of that effort leave the wrist. And then hug your thumb toward the center, so effectively towards each other, and then spread your shoulder blades apart. So that's called protraction, keeping your body nice and long like a plank. Right, like, like a board, hence the name of the posture, kind of hugging muscle to bone everywhere. Let's take the feet just a tiny bit wider. Option to hold, option to squeeze your thighs, and in a yoga way, just touch the front of the left shoulder with the right hand, and then place the right hand down and switch. Left hand touches the front of the right. Again, in a yoga way, you can skip this. Right arm reaches forward. And then left arm reaches forward. Last thing, right elbow lowers down. Left elbow's down. Let's press up to right palm. You can. Left palm. Now walk your feet back into hip distance. Take a big breath in. You got this. Bend your knees. Exhale to dog. And you've been in your shoulders for a bit. So I'd like for you to take a moment. Make sure the shoulders stay active. 
point the finger slightly out to the right. Now we'll walk the left foot a little closer to center. Right toes point to the ground. Inhale for our three-point stretch. Left outer hip is wrapping back. And front low ribs are drawing in nicely. Let's slowly open up the right hip. Bend the right knee and roll the right ankle out. Try twisting your belly button slightly to the left. You might feel that your palms are pressing a little more evenly now. We'll pull the knee right down the center to cheetah pose. I want you to pull the knee in with the same amount of energy and effort that you press the ground away. Are you still breathing? I hope you are. Rotate your hips to the left, right knee toward the left elbow, prop cheetah. Take it back to center, right knee to the right, mountain climb. Step back to plank. Option to hold, option to drop your knees and hold, option to take one to three mindful push-ups. Let's keep that belly tight. I'm going to do one knee down push-up. When we're ready, we'll meet on the belly, take the arms out like a T, and we'll lift up about a third of the way. And come down a little bit. Training the spine what to do, lift up about two-thirds of the way. Great, come down just a little bit and lift to your highest point. Take a few small sips of air, lift. Exhale, slowly release, cuff your toes. Inhale, knees down plank or plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take a clearing breath here, fill up. Release what you can. Walk your right foot a little closer to center. Left toes point to the ground. Inhale, three points. This time, the right outer hip wraps up and back, and the belly is drawing together as you point and flex your left ankle. We'll open the left hip here. Bend the left knee, but remember, twisting the belly button slightly to the right. Staying strong. Get high on your right toes. Exhale, knee to the chest. Cheetah. Pulling the knee with the same amount of effort that you press the ground away. You got this. Exhale, rotate hips to the right, cross cheetah. Bring it back through to center, mountain climber, left knee over the left. Step back to plank, option to hold, option to drop your knees and hold. Option to take one to five push-ups. You don't have to do a single push-up in this class. That is up to you. Pull me on the belly and reach the arms back. Lift up about a third of the way. Try to touch your fingertips to your heel and then come down a little bit. Lift up two thirds of the way. Keep the chest up, heels up. Great, come down just a little. Lift up to your highest point now. Option to interlace your hands if you want to. I want you to take a few small steps of air. Try rolling your pinky toes toward the ground, lifting a little higher. Awesome job. Exhale, slowly come down. Hands under shoulders, inhale to plank. Or knees down plank. Exhale, bend your knees, downward facing dog. Let's take a clearing breath again, so up. Sigh out. Let's take the feet about mat distance. Walk the hands about halfway up the mat towards the feet. Right hand to the outside of the left ankle, shin, or calf. And just start to twist a little bit. No need to overdo it here. Lovely. Let's release. Right hand in front. Left hand to the outside of the right. Again, maybe looking up under that right shoulder this time. And slowly release, walk your hands all the way back to your feet and do a half lift. This is about spine health, so don't skip it, belly in. Exhale, fold into ragdoll. So we'll just dangle here for a moment. And you could grab a bind that might look like opposite elbows the way I have now. You could let your arms hang like heavy gorilla arms. You could sway or be still. A lot of junk can start to accumulate in the spine, in the hips. This is an opportunity to release through traction some of that congestion. 
So you've got a bind. Start to release it. We'll walk the hands back out to a wider plank. Can we just finish what we started? No pressure. Lift those kneecaps. Belly is super tight in a yoga way. Left hand touches the front of the right shoulder. Right hand touches the front of the left. It's a few little things here. Left arm reaches forward. We're halfway there. Right arm reaches forward. Last thing you can. Left elbow lowers down. Right elbow lowers down. Slowly press up left palm and right palm. Big exhale. Shift back to downward facing dog. Walk your feet in a little closer to hip distance. And then take eight to ten tiny little steps. Wakening the hamstrings as we journey to the top of our mat. When you get there and take all the time you need, half lift, inhale, shoulders draw back. Fold, exhale. Inhale, rise, sweep your arms high over your head. Exhale, hands to heart, feeling centered. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, arms sweep up, look up. Exhale, bend your knees, dive forward. Half lift, inhale, shoulders back, right foot back, exhale, lunge, left foot back, inhale, plank, exhale to lower, could be chaturanga, could be knees first, inhale to lift, could be up dog, where I am, could be plank, could be cobra, exhale dog, breathe easily in and out, and try to listen to your breath. Use that as a point of concentration. Again, to help just clear out some junk in the mind. Sometimes we just need to refocus that mental energy. Bottom of your next exhale, look forward, heels up, bend your knees, let's step top of that. Half lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Inhale, rise, maybe back bend, maybe get very tall. Exhale, fold from your hips and weight. Half lift, inhale. Left foot back, exhale, lunge. Right foot back, inhale, plank. Exhale to lower, could be chaturanga, could be knees first. Inhale to lift, could be some kind of push-up variation. Exhale to dog, I want you to listen to your body. Cultivate awareness around what you need and make good choices for yourself. Bottom of your next exhale, look forward, heels up, bend your knees, step or jump this time, feet to top of mat. Half lift, inhale, fold, exhale, inhale, rise, maybe back bend, maybe just get very tall. Exhale, fold, last on A. Half lift, inhale, palm the mat, step, jump or float, take vinyasa or you can skip it can always look like a push-up or a plank on the way to downward facing dog. And especially if you're in the comfort of your home, I'd like you to take a big uninhibited breath and sigh out, big inhale. Release what you can. Look forward, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump feet to top of mat. Top lift, inhale, take all the time you need. Fold, exhale. Inhale, right, sweep your arms up and grab a hold of your left wrist with your right thumb and forefinger. Lift up really tall, pull your belly in. Exhale, lean over to the right. So this is uh, equal parts effort and stretch. Belly should be engaged. Inhale to center, swap your wrists, lift up tall. Again, engage your core before you lean to the left. Try bringing your right hip forward and your left shoulder under a little. Inhale, back to center, maybe back into small enough. Bend your knees, exhale, forward, fold. Half lift, inhale, pull your belly in. And then as you exhale, fold and separate your feet two fists with distance apart. From here, grab the back of your calf and do a half lift. From the half lift, drop your head down and keep that belly thigh connection as you start to lift through your bum and lengthen through your head. We're on a journey to hands to feet pose and we're about halfway there. 
We started with dangle. Maybe take one more breath. Start to look up towards your belly button. Half lift, inhale, walk your feet a little closer unless you're over six feet tall. Fold, exhale, bend your knees, sit back to chair pose. If you're taller, it's helpful to have a little space between your feet to protect your back. Let's pull the belly in nice and tight. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, open twist to the right, belly button twist slightly to the left. Inhale through to center. Exhale, open twist left, belly button slightly to the right. Inhale to center, sit as low as you can. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, inhale, shoulders draw back. Palm the mat, step jumper, float, take vinyasa, or you can skip it. You can always do that push up or knees down push up. Follow the full exhale, back to dog. Right leg, inhale, three points. Exhale to cheetah, bring right knee to chest. Step up to warrior one, inhale to rise. Easy twist. Exhale, left hand down on your left toes. Inhale, right arm high, right hip wrapping back. Exhale, palm the mat. Inhale to plank or one-legged plank. Exhale to lower, take your time, vinyasa. Inhale to lift. And exhale to dog, left leg, inhale, three point. Exhale to cheetah. Step up, warrior one, inhale to rise, solid in both feet. Easy twist, exhale, right hand down, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, palm the mat, inhale to plank or one-legged plank, exhale to lower. Inhale to lift, legs stay strong and up dog. Exhale to downward facing dog for two full rounds of breath. Again, try to breathe and notice the quality of the breath. Letting your mental awareness rest here is very refreshing. It can help to clear some space. Bottom of your next exhale, look forward, heels up, bend your knees, step or jump, feet to top of mat. Half lift, inhale, fold, exhale, bend your knees, sit back to chair. And if you don't have feet or ankle issues, go ahead and lift those heels up. We'll sit a little lower and pull the belly a little tighter. Starting to draw your ribs together. See if you can straighten your spine a little. We'll bring the heels a little closer, perhaps they touch. Take a big inhale. And as you exhale, see if you can open twist to the right with your heels up. It's okay to wobble and fall. I'm about to fall myself. Inhale to center. Exhale, open twist to the left. Keep squeezing those inner thighs together. Heels are still up if you can. Inhale to center. Sit a little lower. And then as you exhale, slowly land in the forward fold. Very strong. Half lift. Inhale, shoulders draw back. Fold, exhale, and now separate your feet two-fifths. And option one would be to slide your hastas, your hands under your padas, your feet. Or you could slide your peace sign fingers under your big toes and press your toes down. Or if you feel like you're not ready for hands to feet, you can bring your hands back behind the calves and hang out at that halfway point of the journey. Let's take two full rounds of breath. And perhaps if you'd like your heart rate to slow down a bit, pause at the bottom of your exhale, just for a little moment before you softly start to inhale again. Maybe one more breath, you look up towards your belly button. Hands to shins or thighs, inhale, half lift, shoulders back. As you exhale, fold, widen your feet and slowly lower your bum down to your yoga squat position. So lifting tall through your spine. You can hold here. You can work your crow pose. And I'll give you one other option for crow later. Or you can do these little yoga squats with me just three times. Lift your thighs up halfway to parallel. And then all the way to parallel. Pause just for a moment, then go halfway to your squat and all the way to your squat. And pause just for a moment and then go halfway to parallel, pause. All the way to parallel, pause. 
and then halfway down, pause, and all the way down, pause. And as promised, just three, halfway up, pause. All the way to parallel, if you could just hold and breathe and notice if any junk starts to come up. And if anything does, it's not serving, see if you can just focus on the quality of that breath. And next exhale, come to your squat. We'll take all the time you need, adding a sip of water or a crow pose. We're going through vinyasa, or you can skip it. You can step back or jump back. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And this can always look like a knees down push up before we meet back. We'll start with the left leg. The left leg, inhale, three point. Exhale, mountain climber, hold. Left knee to the left. One option would be to hold. Another would be to elevate the knee up and down. There's an arm balance if you know it. Three point inhale. Exhale, cross cheetah, left knee toward the right elbow. Revolve side plank. Extend your left leg out and reach your right arm up. An equal amount of effort, pushing down into the left hand as in lifting the hips. Let's exhale, right hand down, left knee in cheetah, and then flex the left ankle and step up to crescent lunge. Take all the time you need. Pull the belly together nice and tight. Great. Micro bend your right knee. Push off your left heel and come up to stork on the right. Flex your right ankle and sit back to figure four. From here, we'll hold for a moment. So sometimes people like to put their hands or their elbows on their knees if you have that range of motion. Readjust your hips and the stretch. Others might even like to fold. That's a bigger range of motion. Again, if you need your heart rate to slow down, pause at the bottom of your exhale. We'll sit a little lower and slowly start to rise up to stork. Big breath in here, engage your core. Exhale, land an arrowhead. So press it with your arms reaching back. Inhale, crescent lunge, squeeze your right glute. Exhale, warrior two, open out to the left. One prana pull, inhale, straighten your left leg, arms reach up. And then as you exhale, re-bend your left knee, warrior two on the left. Inhale, peaceful warrior, lengthen left thigh. Exhale, modify extended side angle, left elbow, left knee, right arm reaching over your head. Notice how if you hold your left knee out to the left, the left hip wraps under you a little bit. See if you can push down into your left heel and then hug your right heel towards your left heel. Pull the weight up out of your left elbow. Keep your core strong and float your left elbow up off of your knee. As you inhale, peaceful warrior, straighten your left leg, triangle on the left to the top of the mat. So we'll Take the hips slightly to the right as left arm reaches forward. I like to place left hand on the shin. If your arms are longer than your legs, you might place it outside of the foot. If the hand is on the shin, push the shin into the hand with a little energy to unlock the knee. And then try to squeeze through both outer hips. Try to squeeze through both side bodies so your center is very engaged. Then lengthen through the top of the head. And as you inhale, windmill up to straight leg, peaceful. Toes to the side mat, hands to the waist, goddess squat. Bring your heels in, your toes out, horse stance, some might call it. Option to reach your arms high overhead. So try to hold both knees out, left knee out to the left, right knee out to the right. Then lift your left heel up off the mat. Great, and slowly lower it down. Then lift your right heel up off the mat. You got this. And slowly lower it down. And then push down into both heels before you lift both heels up off the mat, just for a brief moment in time. And then slowly lower those heels back down. Let's bring the hands to the waist and sit just a very little bit lower. Push off your heels and stand up slowly. Slow, slow. Great work. Toes to the side mat. 
right toes to the back of the mat. Bend your right knee, warrior two, sit down. Very simple. Inhale, peaceful warrior, lengthen back. Exhale, modified extended side angle. Right elbow is on your right knee, but there's little to no weight there. And again, heel hole holding the right knee out to the right and hugging the feet towards each other helps you to activate through the outer hips on both sides. So from here, we'll float the right elbow up off of the knee. Inhale to Peaceful Warrior and straighten your right leg. Triangle on the right to the top of the mat. Bring your hips slightly to the left as you reach your right arm forward. Hands can come to the shin or perhaps outside of the foot. Try to stabilize through the center if you can. Squeezing your outer hips. Engaging through your side body. Lengthen through the top of the head. Next, inhale, windmill out, straight leg peaceful. Toes to the side mat, hands to your waist, lift through your chest. From here, we'll go to wide-legged forward fold. A slight bend in your knees is great. Bringing your hands out in front, you might do a half lift. You can do whatever you want here. I'll offer you the twist placing your right fingertips under your face. Pull your belly in and start to reach your left arm up to the sky. Twist your belly button slightly to the right to keep your pelvis neutral and to keep the twist in the thoracic spine. Awesome. Exhale, left hand comes down under face. Let's do fingertips so you have a little more space. Right arm starts to reach to the sky. And then the belly button twists slightly to the left, and then of course you can do your own thing. Try to stay long through the top of the head, and then we'll bring that right hand back down. Slowly pivot around to runner's lunge on the left to the top of the mat, and from here, step back to plank. Vinyasa or skip it. You can add an extra push-up. You can do knees, chest, chin, the cobra. Take all the time you need when we'll meet in downward facing dog. And again, an uninhibited breath, fill up all the way. Clear out what you can. We'll go for the right leg this time. Right leg, inhale to three point. Exhale to mountain climber. One option is to hold, squeezing right side oblique. If you do the knee elevator up and down, try to just move the knee. Three-point inhale, both palms firm. Exhale, cross cheetah, right knee to left elbow. Extend right leg out. Inhale, revolve side plank. Push the ground away. Lift your hips up and keep breathing. Next exhale, left hand down. Bring your right knee back into cheetah. Flex your foot and step up to crescent lunge. Take all the time you need. Micro bend your left knee. Pull your belly in. So this is a little challenging, but you got this. Push off your heels, store from the left. Flex your left ankle and sit back to figure four. And remember, we held this for a bit on the other side, which you can also do here. That might look like placing your hands or your elbows and adjusting your hips. If it looks like a little fold on the other side, try to do the same or notice if you have an inability to do so. And then we'll sit a little lower and rise up to stork. Big inhale, belly together. Exhale, arrowhead, crescent with your arms, reaching back. Push off your right heel, inhale, crescent lunge. And now we'll exhale, warrior two, one prana pull. Inhale, straighten your right leg, arms up. Exhale, sit down, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, lengthen back. Exhale, full extended side angle on the right, on the top of the mat for five. And this could look like a modified or a modified half bind. This could look like a traditional or a traditional half bind or even full bind. Let's try to keep the right hip wrapping underneath you 
and avoid clenching the toes on the right foot. If you engage to bind, begin to unwind. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Straighten your right leg, right toes to the side mat, left toes to the back of the mat. Very simple, warrior two on the left to the back of the mat. Inhale, peaceful warrior, same thing we just did. Exhale, full extended side angle on the left to the back of the mat. And if you just took a modified half bind or a traditional half bind or full bind, notice if it feels any different on the other side. And as always, please avoid forcing yourself into anything. If you engage to bind, unwind, stay low in the lunge, inhale, peaceful warrior. Straighten your left leg, left toe to the side of the mat. Bring your feet in a little closer, perhaps. Inhale to interlace your hands behind your back and lift your chest. Bend your knees, exhale to wide-legged fold. If you know at any point you want to leave this bind, all you have to do is do a half lift, and when your hands meet your low back, let it go. Let's take about three or four more full rounds of breath. You might try going from side to side with the bind at your low back. If that feels good, just start to even out through both sides. And we'll do a half lift when you're ready. Pause, and when your hands meet your low back, slowly release them. Pivot around, runner's lunge on the right to the top of the mat. Inhale, step back to plank, vinyasa, or skip it. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Can always look like that knees down push up or traditional chaturanga to up dog. So from here, we'll one last time look forward, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to a squat, and you'll have an opportunity to work crow pose or to just catch your breath in this squat. So as promised, if you'd like, you can take your hands wide, bring your toes together, and split your knees, keeping the knees high as you can toward the armpit. Start to lean forward. As you lean forward, push into your hands a little more and pop your upper back. Perhaps lift up one toe at a time. But as your legs are weightless, you don't have to lean any further forward. You can totally just pull your heels tighter to your butt. You can take a moment or two there to finish out. We'll meet in the squat. And if you can, we'll go from the squat just right onto your back. So if that's a trouble for you, just lift your hips, bring your knees together and come onto your back. We'll do a little bit of core work before we wind down with some stretch. So I'll have you interlace your hands behind your head and just lift that tailbone over and over. So I have your hands interlaced behind your head, pressing the back of your head into your hands will help you to relax the head, neck, and shoulder. What we wanna do is keep that muscle energy in the center core. So in five, we will lower the tailbone, squeeze the legs together, flex the toes back toward the face in three, two, one. Squeeze your legs together, flex your toes back to your face, lower your legs about a third of the way and start to reach forward for your low bow posture. From here, just start to point and flex your ankles a few times, push your low back down, push your entire spine down, try to reach your fingertips a little further forward. 20 seconds of bicycle legs, interlace your hands behind your head and go. Again, push the back of the head into the hands. Keep the feet intentional. You can go a little slower if you want that slow twitch muscle fiber work. You can speed it up if you want one little last burst of cardio core. You're going to be giving yourself a great big hug and squeeze in eight. Push your back down, show up for yourself or quit when you need to. We'll be in that self hug in three, two, one. Bring your knees together into your chest, chest and then pull your forehead towards your knees. You did such a great job. Let's drop the heels under the knees and do some bridge flow. So as you inhale, push your heels down, lift your butt and reach your arms high over your head. As you exhale, lower your spine one vertebral joint at a time. Try to link breath with movement, full length of inhale to lift, and full length of exhale to lower. 
And maybe you do this one more time and decide to hold bridge, lifting your hips and rolling to the tops of the shoulders, pushing down into everything that's touching the mat. Perhaps you'd prefer wheel, reaching your arms high over your head before you bend your elbows. Press evenly to hands and feet and wheel when you're ready to come down. The first thing you do is tuck your chin, bend your elbows and place the back of the head down gently. Bridge, you will lift your heels, release your hands and lower your spine. Waist before hips. Do a very gentle windshield waker of your knees. And then bring your knees together before you pull them tightly toward your chest. Forehead can up and up and up. Gently place the back of the head down, waterfall pulls both legs up in the air, arms down by your side. Take a clearing breath, fill up all the way and sigh and then flex your right ankle place it all the way across the outside of your left knee where you can roll it out in both directions and then start to bend your left knee using your core strength and leg strength pull your legs in and then thread the needle for your figure four stretch if you're very flexible you could cradle your right leg and drop your left foot and if you'd like an easier stretch, you can just keep your left foot on the ground. Let's take two more full rounds of breath. I went to the beach by myself last weekend and I did a lot of walking. And I started to think, if you're in that cradle baby, come back to figure four, drop your feet over to the left for an easy figure four twist. I started to think about how when we have company over, we shove all of our junk into the closet and under the bed to avoid them seeing it or to avoid inconveniencing our beloved ones with our crap. Rock to your left side, come onto your back, waterfall, pause, legs in the air, arms by your thumb. Flex your left ankle, place it over your right knee, roll the ankle out in both directions, just to make sure you have enough space. Then bend the knee and start to hug it in. Set up the way you did on the other side and breathe deeply. I started to worry that we do the same thing with our emotional and mental health, that we shove our junk that we don't want to inconvenience others with into our proverbial closet and under our bed where it just turns into triggers and makes us more sensitive to this world. If you're in the easier stretch or the cradle baby, come back to figure four and drop your foot over to the right. Two deep breaths. I think life is a little too challenging these days to take that approach with our emotional and mental health. Instead, let's use these practices, yoga and breathing and movement. Rock to your right, come on to your back, happy baby. Let's use them to cultivate awareness around the areas where we need to clear up congestion. And then let's actually do that. Let's not shut it down, let's clear out what we can. Slowly moving towards your final resting posture, Shavasana pose. If you have a history of low back issues, just bend your knees, let the knees fall together, and walk the feet a little wider. When you land in your rest, take one last inhale to squeeze everything and clear out what you can. Shavasana.
Before you move, breathe into your belly. Gently roll the back of your head from side to side. Wiggle your toes. Move slowly towards a full body stretch, reaching and pointing equally. And bend your knees one at a time. You can either lie on your back or rock to a side. We'll be on a slow journey to an upright seat with your hands at your heart. Take a big inhale, sit up tall. Clear out what you can. Bring your thumbs between your eyebrows and feel the difference. We honor this journey and all the light in one another. Thank you, Biko, employees and customers. I'm Katie from Charlotte Yoga. I'm so grateful to be here with you. Um, throughout the month of October.